everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel for another video. As you can see from my title, I am doing a tutorial today that is kind of spring and Easter inspired makeup. Main look I wanted to achieve was really bright eyes, big lashes, something that's really going to stand out. And then I wanted to do the pop of color on my cheeks with this very doll-like Barbie pink and then kind of a pinkish purple lip. So please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and also hit this button right here to subscribe to my channel to be notified of future videos. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So I decided I'm gonna do this kind of talk through style. So instead of like, you know, doing a voiceover and everything, I'm just gonna sit here and talk to you guys throughout the tutorial. The first thing I like to do whenever I start my makeup is clip back my bangs because they do tend to get in the way. All I have on my face right now is my moisturizer and I used the Neo Bay moisturizer. The first thing I'm gonna use to prime my face is the Nivea for Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. This stuff is amazing and it's my favorite primer to use lately. So you'll actually start to feel this get tacky on your skin. So that's how you kind of know um, when it's ready. Next product I'm going to use is the Porefessional Primer by Benefit. This has always been my favorite just for my nose and my T-zone. So I'm going to apply a little bit of that. And I'm looking in the viewfinder a lot because um, I am using this as my mirror. So I apologize, but um, I don't have another mirror in front of me. So this is kind of what I'm using for my makeup. So I'm going to take a damp beauty blender. And yes, this one is kind of dirty. I need to wash it. And the foundation I'm going to use today is this New York Color. So this is a very, very cheap product, but it actually works really good. It is the BB Cream. Really recommend this. Um, you'll see how it applies in a second. This is a little bit too dark for my skin right now, but at the end when I do my powder, it's too light for my face, so it kind of balances everything out. I'm just gonna take the Beauty Blender, dab that on, and just start blending it in. really doesn't have that much coverage to it it's kind of just like it says it's just BB cream and it also the packaging claims that it is a matte finish but it really isn't matte as you can see but because I'm doing a spring and Easter makeup tutorial I want my skin to look kind of dewy and fresh this product I'm going to take with my wet beauty blender is my concealer this is the Kat Von D tattoo locket concealer um, it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone so I'm just going to use this underneath my eyes and any place that I want to highlight on my face whatever excess I have on the beauty blender I just like to put it between my forehead and on my chin and then just make sure that's all blended for my eyes I am going to use max paint pot in painterly I like to use this because it's more of a sticky base rather than just kind of like a liquid like some of the other primers are so today for the majority of my eyeshadows I am using the original naked palette when I do my eyes I always like to start out with applying a blending color first so that at the end all the shadows kind of just seamlessly come together so I am taking naked right here and then just with a fluffy brush I'm going to apply this to the crease and also work it onto my eye Don't worry about being perfect with this. It can be a little messy because like I said, it's just a blending color. And I'm just using windshield wiper motions in the crease and then kind of just fast little small strokes on the lid. First in the crease, I'm going to take Sin and just work this in. Again, this is a light color, but it's just gonna add that kind of shimmery gleam that I'm looking for. I am going in with Half Bake, which is like a kind of a gold color, but it's more on the cool side. So I'm going to apply it to the outer half of the crease and also on the outer half of the lid. On the lid as a base, I'm going to use 
NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Yogurt. It's a really pretty champagne base, and that will just go on the lid. So with this, I kind of find you have to tug at your eye a little bit. And just apply that. And as you can see, I'm just staying on the outer half of the lid. To really try and brighten up the look, I'm going to take Virgin from the Naked Palette, which is this first color here. I'm going to put that on the inner half of my lid and also the inner corner. Then again, I am going to take Half Baked and line my lower lash line with that. Um, if you wanted to darken this up, I would recommend taking Hustle or um, Dark Horse and putting that on your outer half. For the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm going to take an angled brush for the eyeshadow and apply this to my brow bone. And for this, again, I'm going to use a Virgin. A little bit more shimmer than I usually do for eyeshadow on the brow bone. But like I said, when I think about spring, all I think about is what is the brightest option which I use this one by Lorac, and I'll be right back once I'm done. Now because I want the eyes to look really glamorous and pop, I am going to apply some lash glue and the Ardell Glamour Lashes. These are the 105s, they look like this. They're very simple, but they do add quite a bit of length to your lashes. So I applied the lashes, and to kind of bind them together, I'm going to use L'Oreal's Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara. This is one of my all-time favorite mascaras. time to do the rest of your face. I know the eyes look a little dramatic, but that's kind of what we're going for. We just want them to look wide and awake, and I really think that this brightening eye look and then the long lashes really does that effect. So to set my under eyes, I am using this Essence All About Matte Compact Powder. It's just a white powder. It's gonna help brighten your under eyes and also keep your concealer staying on all day. that kind of generously and then for my face powder I am using the Rimmel London stay matte powder this is like a cult favorite of mine I have been using this product for forever then again with that same brush I'm going to take my Too Faced chocolate soleil bronzer I don't actually like contour my face I just use this to add a bit of color just to the bottom of my cheeks. I bring it down to my chin, and then I will also take it on my temple if I feel like it. So this is where the pop of color comes in. For blush, I am using Max Pink Swoon Blush, which is a very vibrant hot pink. This is a gorgeous color for spring and summer, and I really feel like, you know, with Easter, you think of pinks, purples, you know, all those bright pastel colors. So I'm gonna take this pretty generously and add this to my apples and my cheeks. shows up even just a little bit because I am really exaggerating this color because I really want um, the pops of colors to be the focal point of my makeup look. Next for a bit of highlight on my face I am using this Essence So Glow Highlighter. It is a very pretty highlight. It's more of a pinky tone which is also something I am looking for since my cheeks are pink. So I'm just going to smile and apply this to my cheekbones. on my chin and even a little bit in between my eyebrows. You can see this adds a really nice glow to the cheek and you can also see my very pink doll-like cheeks. Now the last thing for this look which is the most important for me is the lips. I wanted something a little bit purple, a little bit pink, kind of pastel. So first I am going in with the Lolly Balm Lip Tint by Benefit. This stuff is great, it's really moisturizing. 
that pigmented, but it's more of just a base that I'm going to use for my lip gloss. And then the lip gloss that I am using is this NYX Butter Gloss, and this is in the shade Meringue. It's a very pretty pinky purple shade, perfect for spring and summer. I'm just going to generously apply that to my bottom lip and my top. And then last but not least, to make sure that this beautiful spring and Easter look stays all day, I am using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray all over my face. So last but not least, I let my hair down, took out my clip, and this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and please let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more tutorials from me, more um, summer-inspired ones, spring, whatever you guys want. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye!